welcome okay we've done one and two in previous videos I'm going to now work out the solutions cold to question number three from the released items on the 2023 AP statistics exam so we have a company in the bath fizzies or mineral tablets that dissolve and create bubbles when added to bath water in order to increase sales, the Fizzy Bath Company has produced a new line of bath fizzies that have a cash prize in each bath fizzy. Let the random variable x represent the dollar value of the cash prize in a bath fizzy. Probability distribution of x is shown to the table. <clears throat> so part A says based on the probability distribution of x. Answer the following. Show your work. One, calculate the proportion of bath fizzies that contain one dollar. So that's the probability that x equals one dollar. And that's going to be 1 minus, and this is going to be all the other probabilities of the other cash prize. So 0.2 plus 0 0.05 plus 0 0.05 plus 0 0.01 plus 0 0.01. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I didn't miss any. And we could use a calculator, but this is going to be 0.1. So it's going to be 0 0.3, 0 0.32. So 1 minus 0.32. I'm going to double check that with the calculator. I'm sure it's right, but it's going to be 0.68, but I want to make sure. So I'm going to do 1 minus 0.2 plus 0.05 plus 0.05 plus 0.01 plus 0.01. We are allowed to use the calculator. There's no reason to not to take a chance. That is 0.68. That's exactly what I thought it was. Just wanted to verify and make sure. Rather slow down and get it right. Because we know probability distribution has to all add up to one. Calculate the proportion of bath fizzies that contain at least ten dollars. So this oops is gonna be the probability that x is greater than or equal to ten. And that's gonna be 0 0.05 for ten dollars plus 0 0.05 for twenty dollars plus 0 0.01 or $50 plus 0 0.01 for $100. That's going to be 0.1 plus 0 0.02 or 0 0.12. Okay, I'm showing my work because a lot of times on the FRQs, the it's, a, it's required. Even if you can add it in your head and get it right, it counts. It takes you from an E to a P if you don't show work. Based on the probability distribution of X, calculate the probability that a randomly selected bath fizzy contains $100 given that it contains at least ten dollars show your work okay so we've already got we want the probability that x equals one hundred dollars given that x is greater than or equal to ten dollars so this is going to be the probability of x equal one hundred dollars I can't remember the formula even though I should but I'm going to tell you it's going to be the probability that, well the probability that x equals $100 divided by the probability that x is greater than or equal to $10 let's double check that make sure yes that's exactly right because probability that x equals 100 is the probability This is the probability of x equals 100, and there's the formula. And that x is greater than or equal to 10. That's what we were looking for. That was the formula. So the conditional probability formula says that or the multiplication formula says the probability of x equals 100 and x is greater than or equal to 10 is the probability that x is greater than or equal to 10 times the probability that x equals 100 given that x is greater than or equal to 10. And if we multiply both sides by the denominator, that's what we would get. So this one. <clears throat> probability of x is equal to 10 and one that's just point zero 0.01 that's the intersection of both of, of all of those that's just point zero 
Let me think about that for a second. Let's set this up with conditional probability just to make sure. I'll tell you, this is cold. Probably could have done it this way. It would have worked out. But I'm going to set it up. So greater than or equal to 10, not greater than or equal to 10. So less than 10. And I'm going to do equals $100 and not equal to $100. I'm going to set up what I call a hypothetical 1,000s table. And we're going to take 1,000 bath fizzies. And we're going to calculate greater than or equal to 10. We said is 12%. So that's going to be 120 of 1,000. That's going to leave this as 880. And equal to $100 is going to be 10 is 1% of $100. And that's going to leave 990. Whoops, that's the other way around. 10 here, 990 that are let, not equal to 100. And since this was 12, let's see, 100, there's only one, and that's greater than or equal to 10, so that is exactly what I was looking for up here. And that's going to leave, whoops, that's going to be 1%, so that's going to be 10. And that's going to be zero, and that's going to be 110. And this is going to be 110, this is going to be the 880, right? And so that means that the probability we're looking for, probability that x is equal to oops, is equal to 100, given that x is greater than or equal to 10, is equal to 10 out of 120. I was going to put 0 0.01 over 0.12 a minute ago. This is going to be the same thing. So 1 12th. <clears throat> Sorry, that one took a little while. Probability is always fine. Based on the probability distribution, distribution of X, calculate and interpret the expected value of the distribution of cash prize in the bath physics. Show your work. I hope this was part B, wasn't it? So we're going to go to part C now. And I'm going to scroll back up here. And remember the expected value is the mean of a distribution. And so this is going to be the expected value of X is the mean of X. And we calculate that by the sum of x times the probability of x. And so this is going to be, for this one, we found that 0.68 was the probability of x equals 1. So this is going to equal 0.68 times 1 plus 0.2 times 5 plus 0 0.05 times 10 plus 0 0.05 times 20 plus 0 0.01 times 50 plus 0 0.01 times 100. And we'll type that in a calculator so I do not make a mistake. So this is going to be 0 0.68 times 1 is 0 0.68 plus 0 0.2 times 5 plus 0 0.05 times 10 plus 0 0.05 times 20 plus 0 0.01 times 50 plus 0 0.01 times 100. And that's going to equal 4.68. So the expected value of the cash prize in the bath fizzies is $4.68. That was part C. Part D, the bath fizzy would like to sell the bath fizzies in France, which where currency is euros. Suppose the conversion rate for dollars to euros is $1 equals 0.89. Using your expected value from part C, calculate the expected value in euros of the distribution of the cash prize in the bath fizzies. So if $1 is 0.89 euros, if we multiply dollars by 0.89, we will get the value in euros. The expected value 
of C times X is equal to the constant times the expected value of X. And so we're looking for the expected value of 0.89 times X because 0.89 times X is the conversion to euros. So that equals 0.89 times the expected value of X which is 0.89 times 4.68 and that becomes 4.1652 euros and I believe that is question number three